Are you learning cello through essential elements? Then this is the video for you. Today I'll be covering number 116, which is called Song for Maria. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I give you tips and tricks so that you can learn all of your favorite songs on the cello. So today we'll be talking about number 116, Song for Maria. And what's awesome about it is it's combining now all the slurs that we've been working on in the previous numbers, as well as some separate notes. If you look at the beginning of the song, there is a single quarter note and then there is a bar line. So that might be a little bit confusing, like where is the rest of the measure? So the other three beats can be found at the end of the song. So this one note at the beginning of the song is what we call an upbeat. If you notice the time signature, it is 4-4. Four, four. So that means that there are going to be four quarter note beats in every measure. And the key signature has two sharps in it, which is F sharp and C sharp. Hopefully by now you're recognizing that when there are two sharps in there, it is commonly associated with the D major scale. So let's play through that. Andante that's written there. And remember, Andante is a, a slower tempo, uh, but it is actually literally translated to a walking tempo. Now, keep in mind for all of you speed walkers out there, it's probably not at that speed of walking. Uh, what they mean by walking is more of like a leisurely walking pace. So it's not as slow as, say, a lento, which is super, super slow but it's kind of not as fast as a moderato, and it's definitely not as fast as an allegro. There are quarter notes and eighth notes in this song, but be careful of the slurs that you find in this. Remember, slurs don't mean that the notes go by faster, uh, it just means that you're linking the two notes together into one bow stroke. One of the common things that I find is that when people start seeing slurs, they often start rushing through them, and so that the sense of the beat or the tempo often gets a little bit skewed. So make sure you're practicing this with a metronome and staying steady all the way through the song. If you're not sure exactly how the rhythm goes or how the speed should be, I would suggest practicing the notes without the slurs first, and then once you get comfortable with it, you can add the slurs back in. I'll play through once by myself and then I will play through with the accompaniment that Hal Leonard provides for this song. Here we go. <laughs> One sixteen, song for Maria. There are three beats in this count off. If there are any questions that I haven't addressed in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below and give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more Essential Elements tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!